The behavior of grasshoppers is intriguing to many scientists and researchers. These insects are known for their powerful hind legs, which they use to propel themselves into the air. Their large eyes give them excellent vision, and they use their antennae to feel their way around. Grasshoppers are also equipped with a pair of wings, which they use for flying. A grasshopper's diet consists mostly of plants and other vegetation. They use their strong jaws to bite and chew their food. Some common plants that grasshoppers eat are grasses, leaves, and flowers. Grasshoppers can digest a wide variety of plant material. However, they prefer to eat the softer parts of plants, such as the leaves. The hard parts of plants, like the stems and seeds, are more difficult for them to digest. Grasshoppers typically eat during the day. They will stop eating when night falls or when they feel full. The most important factor for a grasshopper when choosing a habitat is the availability of food. Grasshoppers can adapt to different climates and will oftentimes be found in fields or near crops. They prefer areas that are sunny and dry but can also survive in colder, wetter environments. If a grasshopper cannot find a suitable habitat with plenty of food and other grasshoppers, it will likely not survive. Grasshoppers are interesting creatures that many people know very little about. For example, did you know that grasshoppers have unique mating behavior? Here is what you need to know about how these insects reproduce. When it comes to reproduction, male grasshoppers have two options. They can either mate with a female by going through the process of courtship or they can simply force themselves on her. If a male chooses to court a female, he will start making sounds and gestures. If the female is receptive, the male will attempt mating. During this time, the male deposits a spermatophore onto the female's genitalia. This bundle of sperm will fertilize her eggs, which she will lay in the soil over the coming days or weeks. Most grasshoppers are solitary, but they will form groups when it is time to mate. The males will sing to attract the females, and the females will choose the mate that they prefer. Once they have mated, the grasshoppers will go their separate ways. Some species of grasshoppers will live in groups, but most of them prefer to be alone. The grasshopper chirp is produced by rubbing its hind leg against its wing, which acts like a file. The file scrapes against a ridge on the inside of the wing, producing a vibration that we hear as sound. Some say that grasshoppers chirp to attract mates, but this isn't always the case. In some species of grasshoppers, both males and females chirp. Scientists believe that grasshoppers might also use their chirp to communicate with other members of their species or to warn off predators. Whatever the reason, one thing is for sure, we wouldn't be able to enjoy those long summer nights without the gentle sound of grasshoppers chirping in the background. There are many ways that grasshoppers have adapted their behavior in order to survive in their environment. One way is by camouflage. Many grasshoppers will blend in with their surroundings so that they are not easily seen by predators. Another adaptation is called Batesian mimicry. This is where a harmless grasshopper will imitate the appearance of a harmful one to avoid being eaten. Finally, some grasshoppers will make themselves less attractive to predators by producing a foul smelling substance. Grasshoppers are not just a nuisance to farmers, they are actually an important part of the ecosystem. Grasshoppers are considered a primary consumer because they eat plants. This helps to keep the population of plants in check and provides food for other animals higher up on the food chain. In some cultures, grasshoppers are even considered a delicacy. So next time you see a grasshopper, think about all the good it's doing for the environment. In many cultures, grasshoppers are a sign of good luck. They are also often seen as a symbol of summertime and of abundance. Grasshoppers are known to be very active creatures and their presence can often be seen as a sign that change is on the way. In summary, studying the behavior of grasshoppers can provide valuable information about their ecology and help us to understand the role they play in the environment. By understanding their behavior, we can learn how to better control them and protect our crops from damage.